Consider this video Charcoal Grilling 101. We're gonna show you how to get set up, get your fire started, and get you on your way cooking. The main reason I like the Char Griller Super Pro is because it's a barrel grill, so it gives me a ton of space. I have a lot of cooking space in there. I have convenient shelves, I have the side damper to control the oxygen to my fire, and then you have your top smokestack to also help optimize the temperature. Now we're going to show you how to get your charcoal lit and set up your barrel grill. Whichever charcoal you choose to use, don't use lighter fluid. Get yourself a chimney. These things are magical. You pour your charcoal in here, light it, 20, 30 minutes later, you're ready to go. What I suggest using is underneath, and I'll show you here in a second. You get some newspaper, you fill up the bottom here, you light that on fire, that'll get your charcoal going, or you get these little things, I love them. I call them tumbleweeds, little fire starters. You can fill up a charcoal, put this down, light it, put the chimney on top of it, and you're good to go. All right, so to get your grill started, what you want to do is move your grates over to the left side. We're going to put our fire starter down here. Make sure we're ready to go. You'll want to fill your chimney up about three quarters of the way with charcoal. All right, now that you have charcoal in your chimney, light your tumbleweed or your newspaper, whatever you're using for your fire. Once you get that lit, Put your chimney right on top of it. In about 20 or 30 minutes, we're gonna come back. This should have a nice little white ash to it. Once it gets there, we'll drop it in, then we'll set up our zones. As you can see, our charcoal's lit. It's got that nice white ash on it. So now we're ready to dump it in our grill and get ready to set up our zones. If this is the first time you're using your grill, you wanna season it. The barrels come coated with vegetable oil from the manufacturer and you want to burn that off. That's what's called seasoning. What you're going to do is you're going to dump your charcoal in there, close your lid, let it burn at a high temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. Go ahead and check your owner's manual for your specific model to find out the length of time that you need it to burn. What we set up here is a two zone fire, which means you have your direct heat and your indirect heat. The indirect side, obviously it's not gonna be as intense because the coals are not right underneath it. On the direct side, the coals are right underneath the graves. So all your high temperature cooks and your searing can be done here. Then you can place them on your indirect and finish them off with your slower cook. Another advantage about this barrel grill is you have adjustable fire graves, which means lift these handles up, you bring the fire closer to your food, further away. Plus, the fire grate is an easy dump ash pan to help clean up. In addition to the adjustable fire grate and the two zone fire, your side damper controls your temperature to the fire. More open, more fire because more oxygen is going to the coals. When you close it, you cut the oxygen off, the coals will burn out. So you want to open it up and keep it open. Then you have your smokestack and that's your exhaust. So your oxygen flows in and flows out of the top of the barrel. Here are some quick, simple tips to ensure your grill will last for years to come. Number one, get a grill cover. It's simple, it's easy, put it on, it keeps the moisture out, the rain, all of that nasty stuff, and it keeps your grill nice and clean. Number two, clean out any ash or leftover charcoal. Number three, clean your grates after each use. Make sure they're well seasoned. And number four, every few times that you use your grill, get a spray bottle like this, fill it with vegetable oil, and spray down the inside of the barrel. If you have any more questions, and you want to look up any more techniques and tips, visit chargriller.com.